The Naval Research Laboratory recently participated in an event called TCE, hosted in Camp Pendleton, California. TCE, uh, this is 24.2, is the Technical Concept Experiment. Uh, it is a showcase of a lot of really great technologies that the Marines um, can use in the expeditionary warfare. And so our job and our objective of our project here um, is the surf observation tool. Accurate surf observations are crucial for Marines as they ensure safe and efficient landings during amphibious operations. The traditional way of taking a surf observation is a Marine going out to the beach, grabbing a pen and paper, and sitting there and counting 100 waves back to back. And not only counting the waves, we have to kind of estimate how tall they are. But today, that time-consuming process is being assisted by advanced technologies. The modern surf observation tool, developed in a joint forces project by the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory and the U.S. Corps of Engineers, combines several innovative systems to streamline the process and provide real-time, precise data for amphibious operations. So what we do is we have two different hardware systems. Um, one is the littoral imaging system. This system was developed out of the Army Corps Engineering Research and Development Center. This is a, a UAV, an unmanned aerial vehicle, that will basically fly over the surf zone so it can extract not only waves and currents that are occurring in real time, but also depth. We also have the littoral lens, and the littoral lens is a, a stereo camera system that sets out on a tripod. You put it right on the beach and it will measure and use uh, specialized algorithms to extract out wave heights and currents. So that data gets sent back through a specialized messaging system called AI to Ops, and that will get sent back to a hub on the beach. And then from that hub is where we will run the models and we will integrate those observations into the model forecasts. So you get a better estimation of what the surf conditions are and how they may change in the future. And so all of that information comes back into one place. Marines can then view it on their specialized tablets where they see all of that information and can make informed decisions about operational missions. So I like to think of it, you know, an experienced waterman can walk up to the surf zone, a surfer, he knows exactly where to paddle out. He knows where the, just by looking at the surf, he knows exactly where the currents are flowing, where the biggest waves are, where the, large, where the smallest waves are. What we wanted to do was effectively digitize a surfer's brain. So we wanted to provide new tools that allow the Marines to do this without having to send a person onto the beach to make those assessments before they bring the vessels ashore. So the way that we envision uh, the littoral lens being used is as uh, a digital Marine uh, to help augment the work that they're currently doing. So it's, it's extremely satisfying to actually get the product out in the hands of the warfighters and actually see them excited about using this new technology. Uh, we're really excited to see where it's gonna go in the future. By putting this new surf observation tool to the test during TCE 24.2, NRL provided a vital opportunity for real-time feedback, allowing the team to make improvements on the spot. The event was a critical milestone in the development of this technology, ensuring it is ready for operational use. I've seen it firsthand where we would make a suggestion like, hey, it would look a little bit better with this on the screen. And the next day, I, we come out to see it fru uh, to fruition on the screen. One of the key things that I always point out to technical performers who are developing technologies, I want them to fail early and maybe even often so that we identify the problems so that we can learn from it now instead of the failure happening during the operation. Uh, as opposed to this is an opportunity to improve and uh, succeed in the future. And it's important for our warfighters to know that this all came about because a Marine asked us for it. It's as simple as that. Tech solutions exist so that any sailor in the fleet and any Marine in the force can come to us with their problems that they're experiencing. Any problems that they have that they think technology might be able to help with, or even if they have their own ideas for solutions that they've been thinking about and they just need some s and some science and technology expertise to help them with, they can come to Tech Solutions and we'll take that problem statement and we'll try to go out and find a developer that can turn that into a prototype solution in 12 months or less. 
At the core of this innovation is the collaboration between NRL, the Army Corps of Engineers, and the Marines, driven by real-world needs. The modern surf observation tool is a testament to NRL's commitment to turning ideas into practical tools that enhance mission readiness and battlefield performance. The main motivation that I find is to take an idea and turn it into a functioning tool that will be used by uh, other people. And that's what we do at NRL. 